one is Drachadika Shayam, second one is whatever you are prescribing. Mandura Vadagam. Mandura Vadagam, okay. See, Mandura Vadagam, Drachadik Vadam. Drachadik Vadam is Vada Vitta Samanam. Mandura Vadagam is Kaba Samanam, Little Pitta Samanam. So, how can we manage anemia? Anemia is Kaba in recta. Kaba in recta. Pandu amayam shoni da gay. Mamsa samsto arbudavaji. But in Pandu chigilsa, in Pandu nidana, pitta pradana kupida yedote, he cobbled away chokidam pitam. That Pandu is the Pandu which will be converted to Kamala after seven days of intake of Amraharas. Yaha Pandu ro is ever the pitalam tasya Kamala. Have you seen any iron deficiency anemia which are turning to Kamala? No. That is Kabaja Pandu. So Kabaja Pandu, Paitika Pandu. Divide it in two terms. Iron deficiency anemia is Kabaja Pandu. Kalyanaka Gritam, which Pandu? Paitika Pandu. Panchagavyam, which Pandu? Kabaja Pandu. Pandura Vadagam, which Pandu? Kabaja Pandu. Rachadi Kwadam, which Pandu? Paitika Pandu. And the Puranavadi Kwadam, which Pandu? Kapacha Pandu. So divide all Pandu into two. One Pandu which will be turned into Kamala, like multiple myeloma, like bone marrow suppression after chemotherapy of the cancer patients, like whatever may be the problems which is associated with the membrane of RBC, and many other Pandu which are microcytic hypochromic, hypochromic that is Kapacha Pandu. So, Kabaja in nature, the even a pattern of Neheram from Brahma, Master Jordan, Chundi, Guluji, Pandurodagan, Dadiwa, the Grand Kalyana, the men, Chana Prasmin, Paiti upon in nervous system disorder, the child didn't walk, child neck holding not achieved, child have. Uh, many other developmental disorders. We don't know what is the diagnosis. Leave it. Leave the diagnosis. Mind it only one thing. Whether the problem is increasing as the age advances. As the age advances, whether the problem is increasing. Previously, he used to walk. Nowadays, he is not walking. That is, problem is progressing. If the problem is progressing, mind it, it is fatal. It is not a developmental disorder. <clears throat> if the problem is static or if the problem is improving, that is developmental disorder. You treat it or not treat it, child will improve. If you are treating it, child will improve four times. Okay. Child will be improving in four domains. Behavior, language, fine motor, gross motor. If you are not treating, child may improve in behavior not in gross motor or in fine motor, not even behavior. So my point is, try to differentiate developmental disorder from other neurodegenerative condition. If it is neurodegenerative condition, there will be regression of milestones. There will be increase of problems. Don't take up the case initially before diagnosis properly, because that diagnosis is hectic I am sure that a common practitioner cannot diagnose a degenerative neurological condition of child. So try to refer it to a, not even a common pediatrician because common pediatrician cannot diagnose a neurodegenerative condition. Try to refer the case to a developmental neurologist or developmental pediatrician, he will diagnose it. Otherwise, if it is a developmental disorder, divide the child into three. Child have loose joints, child have tight joints, child have joint with lot of movement disorders. Loose joint, kapha vadigam, more kapaja. Tight joint, kapha vadigam, more vadiga. Baby with movement disorder, either kapha vadigam or kevala vadigam. 
how can we diagnose if it is kevalavadigam or kapavadigam in movement disorder simply you do five days of uddwardana if the movement is increasing that is kevalavadigam there is no other diagnosis simply do five days of uddwardana if the child's movement disorder is increasing that is kevalavadigam if it is reducing that is kapavadigam but a floppy child if the child is having loose joint kapavadigam more kapav if the child is more spastic ट्रीटमेंट सौदर्तन अभ्यंग तक्रधारिटी and child will develop don't worry and we are having lot of contrast stimulus 20 contrast stimulus are there what are they guru vanda hema snigdha srashto sarandra vrudu sara vimshadi guna sar 20 20 contrast just to tickle the nervous system of the child stirup chala do physiotherapy do bandage ushnam shidam snigdha rucham Twenty contrast has to be applied within two years. The child will work. Don't worry. Now epilepsy. Don't leave any of the epilepsy cases from your clinic. Every epilepsy case is treatable for us. But how can we treat is very important. How we can predict is very important because there are treatments which we can manage. Anti-epileptic drugs. Epilepsy taking anti-epileptic drugs, but still epilepsy is not reduced. Take that case, give your medicine along with any of the other. Second thing, epilepsy, taking any of the other drugs, it is controlled. Still, you take up the case, tell the parent that you are supposed to take any of the other drugs. I will control you. If you are taking, I will cut, and I will reduce the duration of any of the other drugs to three years. There is no need of lifelong medication. There, are, there is no need of ten years of medication. If you are taking higher, whether we can reduce it to one year or two year. Then third one, treatment of epilepsy, which it doesn't need any modern. Fourth one, you take the treatments of allopathy, but monthly monthly you are taking LFT, no? Or what? This drug is causing damage to the liver. I will manage you. These are the four areas of management of epilepsy. It means that whatever may be the epilepsy case, bring the child in your clinic and identify which among the four is your trust area in that child. Do that job. Generalized or tonic-clonic, exclusively normal child with epilepsy. I usually use bromigradam. Panchagavyagradam. If the child is having epilepsy during sleep. Associated with hypoxia, associated with MRI. See, every epilepsy should be classified according to Vadika Paitiya and Tapaja. It's very easy. If you are reading my book of clinical periods, you will get it very easily. During the sleep, Tapaja. During the awakening, Vadika. During the noon time, Paitiya. <coughs> Immediately after food, Tapaja. With the fever, Paitiya. postictal headache vadiga visual hallucination paitiga auditory hallucination paitiga similarly you have to divide every uh, epilepsy in terms of dosha kalyana is the hormonal reaction enzymatic paramedical type these are the different seven groups of anti epileptic drugs which are causing most of them are causing apopaitika problems or why the paramedical complications 
Now leg pain. Nocturnal leg pain. Growth pain is a misnomer. Usually there is no such pain, growth pain. But it is Asthyavrda Vayu. Asthyavrda Vayu. Peter Amchabhinandani. By pressing, the child will be happy. Even our old age grandma is also happy by pressing. No? That is Peter Amchabhinandani. Asthyavrda Vayu. You give Tiktrasa Pradhana Gradas. But in children, if the leg pain is on the anterior thigh, mind means there are problems of acetabular femoral joint like birth disease. There are problems of sacroiliac joint like villonodular sinovitis. There are several intrapelvic reasons like uh, psoas abscess, lumbar reasons, lumbar disc disease, growth pain, arthritis, trauma, Osgood slaughter disease. These are the different common diseases which may come across with leg pain. Try to make a different type of it. Treat it. Everything will be coming under either Nagavada or Ashtavardavada or Vada Rakhati. Bow leg. Roll out the rickets. If the midfetlar distance, interfetlar distance is more than 11 centimeters, try to treat it. Astahidam Rasayam Divan Paja. Bahishat Travana. Belarishtam. Means don't give Guru Brahmadam to the child because the child is produced Agnimadhyaya. Guru Brahmada is Mamsarasa. Legu Brahmada is Arka of Mamsarasa, that is Mahishatra. This is rickets, cupping, fraying, flaying, wedging. These are the differential, these are the diagnostic features of the rickets, so common nowadays. And it has to be treated by Ayurveda only. Don't give you vitamin D. 98% of the Indian people are vitamin D deficient because of some peculiar industrial nature. If you want to read much more about it, you read a British medical journal article by R. Moynihan, Selling Sickness. Pharmaceutical industry disease mongering. That is the heading of that article in British Medical Journal by R. Moynihan. And if you are reading it, try to look into the vitamin D deficiency in India. Try to look into the thyroid in India. Try to look into the diabetes in India. Then you will come to know that all these are not diabetes. All these are not vitamin D deficiency. All these are not hypothyroid. Because the famous Chief Editor of Annals of Internal Medicine, Frank Davidoff. Frank Davidoff. He wrote a book for you, for us, for Ayurveda people at least. The book's name is Who Has Seen a Blood Sugar? The content is he is telling, I am a diabetologist since last 40, 40 years, four decades. I have seen the blood. I have seen the sugar. I have never seen a sugar in the blood. So he wrote a book. Who has seen a blood sugar? Read it. My point is, most of the vitamin D deficiency, most of the hypothyroid, most of the diabetes are not diabetes, not vitamin D. And upcoming pandemic is, in 2040, in India is hypervitaminosis D. Hypervitaminosis B. By hearing vitamin, every people is having a feeling of family member. Vitamin, no. Simple, no. Just like my sister. We cannot blame her. It is vitamin, no. You know, the fat soluble vitamin A, D, E, K are highly toxic. Just like Hiroshima, Nagasaki. They will not be eliminated from our body through the urine. If it is B complex, it is water soluble. It will go off within 24 hours of time. But if you are taking vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin K, it will be deposited in your body so that it will create a lot of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in your body in upcoming 